Hello, my name is Sachin Ghorpade and I'm a principal architect for SAP on Azure. In today's episode, we are going to learn how easily you can integrate Azure Analytics services with your SAP system. This episode is a part of a series wherein we are going to depict four episodes on the different integration technologies like Logic Apps, Power Platform, Data Factory, Data Lake, Power BI, and Internet of Things. Today's episode is focused on Data Factory, Data Lake, Storage, and Power BI. If you want to do this, the same demo in your subscription, a sample code and files are available in the GitHub repository at github.com slash saghorpa slash SAP Azure integration. Before we drill down and understand the technical details about it, let's try to understand that a sample scenario wherein these technologies could be used. Contoso is a global beverage company which produces self-dispensed unit and they have manufacturing plants in 50 plus countries. Now, company would like to analyze order history so that they can really understand where the demand is high and for what kind of products. Based out of that data, they could perform some analysis and make some meaningful decision. The challenge here is that the order data is stored in the SAP systems. However, the analysts who are going to assess and perform the decision, they do not have either the access to SAP system nor they are the core SAP functional users. So how do we solve this problem? So let's assume that we have order information stored in the SAP system, which is a, your S4 HANA system. What we are going to do is we are going to use Azure Data Factory service, which is basically a ETL tool, extract, transform, and load. It is going to extract the information, order information from SAP. Once the extraction is done, it's going to perform the transformation and load the information into the data lake storage. Inside the data lake storage, we are going to use container to store this information. Once the information is available into the Azure data lake storage containers, you can run Power BI reports to analyze the data and make some meaningful decisions. So let's go ahead and see a quick demo how we achieve it. Like I mentioned, if you want to follow the follow and implement the same demo in your subscription, you can go into ADF ADLS PB folder and get the required code sample data to perform the demo. Now we talked about that we do have an SAP system. So let's take, take a quick look on the SAP system. We have SAP system where an I created a custom table called Z order in this table. If we see, I'm just going to run it and see that we have about 12 rows in this table. Let me just go ahead and quickly insert a new row. I'm just going to give the name uh, order number to 113. Customer name is demo user. Quantity is just two. City is going to be Redmond and unit price is going to be two again. I'm just going to save this information. You see that database records successfully created. Now let's go back to our table, refresh it, and see that we have this information already available. Now let's go back to our Azure Data Factory and extract this information. Once you go to the Azure Data Factory portal, you don't find an option really wherein you see in general where you say, go ahead and create the data factory. So what you need to do is you need to create you need to click this hyperlink, which call author and monitor. Once you click on this uh, link, it's basically take you to the new page. Now you see that it is not a portal page, but it is a ms-adf.azure.com page. So this is the Azure Data Factory page where you are going to define the Data Factory pipeline. But before you could define the pipeline, let's let's take a look at what is the required thing. So you are going to get the information from your source system, which is SAP system, and then push that data to your target system, in this case, which is the Azure Data Lake Storage. 
which obviously means for this pipeline to connect to those systems, you need some kind of a connector. So for SAP system, you could see that we are just going to connect to the application server and this application server information is mentioned here. You want to ensure that you do the test connection and connection is successful. Right, and you do the same thing for your ADLS uh, connection as well. So you do this, uh, you could see that information here and then you click on test connection to ensure that test connection is successful. So we are good that test connection is successful. But you might be wondering that how come just giving the information about just my application server, it is able to connect to SAP system. The magic is happening because we have set up the integration runtime. Now integration runtime, consider it, it is like one of uh, one of your gateway, which uh, connects between your pipeline, AD, ADFS, uh, sorry, Azure Data Factory pipeline and your SAP system. This is a bunch of binaries. When you create uh, a pipeline, it's gonna uh, or connection, it's gonna give you those binaries so that you can go ahead and set up those binaries into the system. In our in our case. We have installed these binaries into the same system where system where our SAP system is running. So now you have uh, integration runtime. You have now linked services set up. It is the time to create the new data factory. So you click uh, and go ahead and click on the data factory. You could choose pipeline as well as copy data and different various options. I'm just going to choose copy data option here. As you could see, the moment I choose copy data option, it's just going to ask me a few very basic questions. What is my source system? What is my destination system? What kind of information I want to extract, right? And what is my target uh, database schema? And you just follow this and then it's going to create a, uh, a, a flow for you. So in this case, I already created a flow called SAP 2 AD LS Gen 2. So if I click on this, this is my flow. So in this flow, you could see that I do have source information, which is our SAP system here. And then I do have sync, which is nothing but a target system, ADF, ADLS system information here. So you define those basic information and you are ready to extract the information, uh, uh, information from SAP. So let me go ahead and, and start the execution of this pipeline. So once I start executing, you could see that the flow is right now running. What it is doing is it is extracting the information from SAP system. As you could see, it's still running. Going to extract the information from SAP system and then put the information to ADLS containers. So if you could just quickly go to ADLS uh, container. This is our ADLS and there is the SAP table export container that we have defined as our target location. Z order is the place where it is going to put uh, the extracted information. As you could see, it's now 4.40 p.m. Uh, flow has been executed and have dropped the uh, uh, information under the Z order file. If you could go back, you could see that, yes, the flow was successfully executed inside the ADF. That means now we do have information available in Z order table. Or suppose, sorry, file. Now what you could also do is you could also click on here and quickly view the data to ensure that the data that you are getting is accurate. So as you could remember, we had created uh, a new order information with 113 order number and demo user. The good thing is that it is available here. So now let's go ahead and see that how it works in Power BI. So I have opened my Power BI editor where I do have defined uh, some kind of charts, order by quantity, unit price, and the overall uh, order table information. If I right now, if you see, there is no information available for demo user. If I click refresh, if the flow and overall uh, result is successful, then I should see a demo user here. And here you go. So you have now the demo user information visible into your Power BI dashboard. So now you could realize that how quickly you can. Uh, set up your analytical and integration engine and give a power of SAP data to your end user. Thank you so much for wa watching this video.